Hello, my nerds, and welcome back to the Legend of Dragoon right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Legend of Dragoon video. In this one, my friends, is the final of the optional bosses that we can take on in the Legend of Dragoon. That is right. The hardest boss stands before us in this episode, Magician Faust, said to be even more powerful then Melbu Frama himself, the ancient leader of the Winglies back in the days of the Dragon Campaign. Uh, supposedly, this guy is super, super strong, and he had complete control over this fort here, the Fort of Flanville, which is where we find ourselves. This, my friends, is right where we fought Lloyd, actually, at the end of Disc 3. Uh, so we're going to be going through and going to the Land of Taboo in this episode. Now, I for a little bit of boring stuff before we jump in and, and start going for the boss, uh, I did get some levels, and also I wanted to show my party, which is Dart, Miru, and Hatchel, and I wanted to show my equipment for all of them as well going into this fight. Uh, I am not going to be using the equipment that I have that just breaks the fight. Uh, I have Legend Cast Armor of Legend, Phantom Shields for everybody in my party. Uh, but I won't be using those until the very end of this episode. So if you stick around, you'll see an uncommentated, no no commentary uh, boss fight against Foss where I use all of the equipment that will absolutely just destroy him. Uh, but obviously, I'm not going to do that right now. So we have the Soul Eater, the Phoenix Plume, the Red DG Armor, making Dart immune to fire damage, Bandit Shoes, making him a little faster, and the blue sea stone which actually reduces the damage he takes from water attacks by half which is super useful in this fight hatchel has the thunder fist the phoenix bloom the satori vest magical greaves raising his evasion even though i could put the bandit shoes on but i think it's more important to have them on dart or else dart will never get a turn uh and a bandit's ring to make him a little bit faster and then we have Mibru with the Heavy Mace, the Dragon Helm, raising her health by 50%. The Blue DG Armor, which makes her immune to water-based damage. Dancer Shoes, making her faster. And the Red Eye Stone, reducing her damage taken by fire by half. And that's my party. So, we're going to head this way. And again, you'll probably remember this whole area as well. From when we fought Lloyd way, way back. It wasn't actually that long ago, now was it? Huh? My name is Faust, the commander of the Super Mobile Fort Flanville. Below is the land of Taboo. Nobody is allowed to pass through. If you would like to stay alive, go away at once. Faust? I think I heard something about it in Ulara. Magician Faust, the most powerful wizard of the Winglies. But this is a mere apparition of him. Oh, no! That... That stone! It's the Vanishing Stone! I know. If it is the apparition, it should vanish with this. Poof, baby! Faust is using the apparition. Seems he really doesn't want anybody to go below. What is down there? Well, I guess we're going to find out, my friends. We are going to the land of Taboo. Now, if you are curious at all uh, where I got the Vanishing Stone... Hey, maybe watch my playthrough! Uh, we got it from collecting all 50 Stardust here in the Legend of Dragoon. That is the ultimate award. Uh, award? Reward? Ah, it doesn't matter. Anyways, we have a little bit of a puzzle here, so we'll go ahead and use this one. A ton of portals here in the land of Taboo. But that's okay. We'll just continue on our way here and go to the next area that we have to go to, which should be a room with a few portals in the floor. As soon as we get there, of course. Just give me a second, all right? We gotta do a lot of portals first. Here we go. So right here, we can grab a chest that contains a dragon helm yet again. Uh, you could equip that on to somebody like Dart to give him more health for this fight. Or even Hatchel, it'll raise his maximum HP by 50%, but it lowers his magic. Uh, it lowers his magic defense by 10, and I just don't think... I don't know if that's worth it, to be totally honest with you, going into this fight. I almost would rather him have more magic defense, just because this fight is crazy. Uh, also, I want to take a moment and show you all of the random encounters that we can get here in the Land of Taboo. And we get into a battle against what is known as Madman. These are Earth Elementals. They are only found here. 
uh, 1,000 health on each of them, and they have an 8% chance of dropping the body purifier. And they can also do uh, arm blocking on you, which is super annoying. And next, we can find this enemy here, which is the Basilisk enemy. This is a Earth Elemental as well, with 715 health and has an 8% chance of dropping a Deep Petrifier, which is good because it also has a chance of petrifying you in battle. And now we have the Metal Fang enemy, which is a Thunder Elemental with 715 health, has a chance, a 2% chance, of dropping the Beast Fang weapon, which was a very early weapon that we ended up getting for Hatchel, actually back on just one before we even had Hatchel in our party. And finally, the last enemy that you can find here in the Land of Taboo outside of Magician Foss himself is the Dragon Soldier. These are Earth-based elementals yet again with 528 health and a 2% chance of dropping a Knight Shield, which is pretty cool. Now, they can also get this, use the physical attack barrier, which means that I guess at this point in the game, if you're still trying to get your additions up, this is a good time to do it. And now that that's out of the way, uh, so there is a save point here, so you can save if you so choose, which, I mean, you, you went like three screens. It's not that big of a deal. We're going to go ahead. It doesn't matter which way we start with. We're going to go on this one first. And you'll see that this part is kind of annoying, actually. The land of taboo can be kind of, kind of frustrating. But we want to go all the way... Thank you so much, Portal. Yes, this can get superly duperly confusing. But this will bring us to this area here, and if we proceed forward, the two entrances over there. Faust is in one of them. Huh? What is this trembling? Oh! Is the ground rotten? Well, guess we can't go that way. You have to do this three times. The third time, we'll actually be allowed to walk to that center platform. So we'll head, start heading back this way. Like I said, you have quite a bit of these portals to go to. This will bring us back up here. and We'll go ahead and use this one here, which should bring us to the final two that we need. I'm also doing all of these portals just off memory. So uh, probably going to screw this up. Let me tell you. We'll find out. I gotta be honest though, if I am able to nail this, then like you guys owe me a cookie. Or something. Cookies, I like cookies. Cookies sound good. Let's see. Yes! Oh man, I'm so good at this game. Huh? Oh no! The ground is rotten too. Well, guess we gotta go all the way back! Third time's the charm. And now we're going to go this way. And this way. And then I believe we want to use... Boom. Easy peasy on that one. I kind of wasn't expecting it to be that easy. Anyways, you want to make sure that you're as healed up as possible. All of your final things. Oh, and I forgot to show you, and I should do that now. I actually stocked up, and I highly recommend doing this. I stocked up on healing items. Trust me, you are going to need them. Even, well, maybe not if you have Miranda and Miru in your party instead of Hatchel and Miru. But really, you're barely going to have time to, to use Dragoon spells or anything in this fight. This guy attacks so fast and is so crazy. Uh, so I stocked up on a bunch of items. I even have a ton of angel prayers because it is possible for this guy to just one-shot everybody. Like, it's crazy. Uh, so I have healing fogs, uh, a few healing breezes, and some angels prayer going into this fight. And trust me, I'm probably going to use all of them. Oh, and I also have uh, Perky Step on Miru, level 5. Hatchel's got Omni Sweep, level 5. And Dart has Blazing Dynamo, level 5. So they're maxed out additions. Is this a dead end? Then what was the apparition of Faust about up there? Uh, oh, no. 
Th run! Oh, we are. Ooh, items. Where are we? That seems to be the bottom of Flanbell. Whoa! You crafty humans. The sin of contaminating my sacred Flanvale is an idiocy worthy of total death. This is not an apparition or ghost. It's the true magician Faust. <laughs> it is surprising to see a person who still knows my name after 11,000 years. Even more amazing is that you have the vanishing stone that turns away my apparition. It's a miracle. Has he been living since the dragon campaign just like you, Rose? It seems so. You stopped being surprised since you met Charlie. It's not unusual to live for 10,000 years. You agree with me, Faust? Hmm. Not bad, being human and being ageless. And what is it you desire? Do you want to serve me, the ruler of the world? You are the ruler of the world? In the near future, after the remobilization of my Flanvel, the eternal absolute dominance which even Melbu Frama couldn't achieve, the day I, Faust, become the king of the world! He's annoying. What are we going to do, Dart? We we just need to we need to withdraw at once. Let's withdraw at once. We gotta go. We have to pursue my dad now, besides. Fortunately, it seems that he cannot move from there. You are right. Oh, he can move! Hmm. You are ignoring me, the feared wizard. I now understand. Your desire. You desire a painful, wretched death! It will be no problem. I'll grant it to you now. And here we go, the battle against the one, the only, Magician Foss, the hardest boss in the entirety of the Legend of Dragoon. This guy is an absolute beast, my friends. Non-elemental, meaning he's not weak to anything, of course. Has incredibly high magic defense, so you don't want to use any magic against it. In fact, the only thing that we can even hope to do here is use our biggest, best additions and hope that we can take him down. He's got about 24 to 25,000 health, which is the most we've ever seen so far. Uh, Mibru, right off the bat, is going to go ahead and throw a speed down on Foss, just like you would expect us to do. Next, we are hopefully... Yes! Awesome. And we're going to power down on Magician Foss as well. Here's the thing. The speed down doesn't really matter. He's still going to attack just as fast. The power down, though, that is actually a pretty big deal. Then we're going to go ahead and power up Hatchel here. Now, you might think, oh, wouldn't a speed up be better? No, no, no. Trust me. We want to power up on Hatchel. Or else we're going to be backpedaling this entire time. Now we can put a speed up on Hatchel. Great start so far, my friends. Absolutely phenomenal. And Hatchel, let's go, boy. Yeah! Clean Omni Sweep for 9,650 damage. Ooh, I had to stop talking there because I had to concentrate. I had to make sure that I got that Omni Sweep. Right off the bat, he is always going to start this fight with Meteor right here, which is a huge fire-based attack that will do a tremendous amount of damage to every single person in our party. Or at least that's what it's meant to do. Eight hundred damage to me, Rune Hatchel. Now, if we did not have the power up on Hatchel and the power down on him, uh, that would have done over three thousand damage. Right there, we just saw Thor's hammer, which is a thunder elemental uh, or thunder spirit that comes and in, in, in hits somebody. And another thing that he'll do is he will always counter whoever attacks him with the element that they are. So for Hatchel, he'll always hit them with thunder. In this case, Sparknet. For Dart, he'll always hit him with a Burnout. And for Miru, he'll always hit Miru with a Spear Frost, which is fine for us because, you know, we're immune to that stuff. Anyways, I'm actually going to go ahead and use Dart here to cast uh, or use a Healing Breeze because everyone's looking a little bit lower. This is the type of fight where you want to heal whenever you can just because he, he, he really does have the ability to just shut you down entirely. So... There we go. We'll rock that and then hopefully get another clean Omni Sweep. Woo! 6,742. Not bad. Almost got it. And that means that we've pushed him to 50% health. At 50% health, he will always use this right here, which is called Frozen Lights. This is a very, very heavy water-based attack. 
it'll 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 do tremendous damage or again at least it would dart of course has the blue sea stone so he's gonna take half damage from this just right out right out of the gate miru is immune to it so only hatchel's gonna take any damage but he still has the power up look at that no problemo my friends who needs broken equipment and see this is either yep spark net on hatchel which is fine you know it's it's not bad it's actually why uh hatchel's really uh pretty strong in this fight yes he doesn't have his violet dg armor uh but somebody like miranda who has higher magic defense she doesn't either and she can't really do anything but heal right this is gonna be a big electric attack actually shouldn't do too much damage i'm expecting about a thousand to each yeah even less not bad at all gosh you love to see it my friends look at how fast this guy is though it's like he doesn't stop attacking that's the danger of Faust, my friends this this will do about a thousand damage no doubt right don't make me wrong game don't make me a liar Okay, the game, the game just wants me to be a liar. That's fine. All right, so we're going to use a Hatchel to attack again. Okay, that was horrible. That was... I am really, really sad about everything that just happened there. Uh, he's going to go go ahead and use Sparknet on Hatchel yet again. Oh, I'm so sad. Now, that was it for Hatchel's power-ups. This is actually going to be doing about 2,000 damage, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, or it'll just miss those magical greaves coming in clutch. See, this guy just doesn't stop attacking. This will... Okay, this... I know for a fact this one will do over a 1,000 damage. All right? I know it. Oh, come on! <laughs> All right. We got Miru here. Going to use the Healing Breeze instead of attacking. Remember, like I said, any time that you fall even a little bit low and healthier, it's just so important to heal back up. You just have to. You really do. And we don't really have time to transform into a Dragoon and stuff because... We'll obviously, if we do that, we lose, we lose item use for a few turns. Can't afford it. Ah, almost got Blazing Dynamo. Almost 4,000 damage out of Dart there. Once we push him into red, which is right now, he will go ahead and use Hurricane, which is a very powerful wind-based attack. Good thing we, that we literally just healed up, or else we'd be in, we'd be in a lot of trouble here. 2,658 damage done to Dart. Luckily, it missed Hatchel. Miru also taking a whopping 2,000 damage there. And, of course, he's going to go ahead and hit Dart with a burnout. Lucky for us, we're immune to fire damage, baby! Yeah, yeah, nothing. You got nothing on me, dude. Let's go, Fosty boy. Oh, wait. You got an... Okay, never mind. thought you were done. Who's he going to hit? Oh, no. This might kill Dart. Oh, no, friendos. No. Wow. That did way less against... I Guys, I got to be honest with you. We are getting very, very lucky, actually, with... Uh, with... With... Uh, Hatchel's misses here. It's been very good. The Magical Greaves are really paying off. Almost feels like we have a Legend Cast equipped. Which reminds me, don't forget, you want to stick around to the end of the, the end of this episode so you can see us just destroy this boss with all of the broken equipment. Ah, almost got Perky Step. Almost 3,000 damage done. Of course, he's always going to a counter with a Spear Frost. We might be looking at the end of this fight on the next turn, my friends. Miss! Doesn't matter. Would have done zero damage anyways because she's got the, the DG armor. Dark Beast. This will do... Come on. Don't make me a liar now. This will do about a thousand damage, right? Come on! 
Why do they make me liar? Uh, they make me they make me liar. Anyways, let's finish this up. Jeez, Louise. That's it. I quit. I quit. I'm the worst at this game. It's official. <laughs> Another spark net used. Two thousand, like I said, two thousand damage done there. Absolutely crazy. Oh, I love those attacks. Use those. Use those. Just that main attack that he used the purple flame. That's fine. I love that. Use that all the time. And looks like we get another one. Ooh, okay. All right, team. You know what? I think we can finish this off. Let's do it. Blazing Dynamo to wrap up Magician Fast. Absolutely delicious. So besides those two pretty, pretty big mess ups on Hatchel, that fight was pretty clean. And for winning, we will get 10,000 golds. That's right, 10,000 gold. That, my friends, is a free Legend Casker, Armor of Legend, or Phantom Shield. Oh, speaking of Phantom Shield, we also get a free Phantom Shield. That's crazy. And, yes, 20,000 experience for our party. Yes, 20,000. That is absolutely crazy. Hatchel hitting level 47. That's it? Nope. 20,000 and no one got... The Dragon Campaign is not finished yet. We'll finish it by stopping my father. Nice. Dude, I can't believe only Hatchel got a level from Magician Fox. That is absurd. Right here, we can get a Dancer's Ring for free, which is too bad because we have way too many of them. <laughs> and we get a Holy Onk. And over here, we can grab a Magical Hat. Yep, another Magical Hat. One of the few that you can find in the entire game. And this is also one of the coolest. Listen, I don't I don't care who you are. I think this is so cool. We can go ahead and use this portal here. And it brings you through pretty much all of the maps that you have seen here in Tower Flanville. That's where we fell. The portals. The thing that led to the portals. <laughs> More portals. And the very beginning, and that portal right there that you may have seen, like, way back in Disc 3. And you were like, I wonder where that portal takes us. Well, there it is. We are back at the entrance of the Tower of Flanvel. And we are outside, or basically in, uh, Cashua Glacier now. Which is pretty cool. Anyways, that, my friends, is going to be it for this episode of The Legend of Dragoon. But, uh, I wouldn't... Listen, I wouldn't, uh... <laughs> You don't need to, you, you want to stick around because I'm going to show you how we can absolutely decimate this fight by using all of the broken equipment in the game. So enjoy that, my friends. In the next episode, we will continue with the main story of the legend of Dragoon. That's right. After this, it is the, the point of no return. We are in the final episodes of the legend of Dragoon. Thank you guys for watching and a huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres every Monday, Wednesday, Friday around 2 p.m. Eastern. I sincerely appreciate you guys and I hope that you enjoyed Magician Faust. Remember, never give up, never surrender to Magician Faust.
Yes! Tell us! Go! Tell us! Huh! 